Well, I just noticed that my audio was off. Like the brainiac I am. So I'm assuming you saw everything I just did, so I don't have to describe it all. Unless you really want me to. But this little piece here is so that it can match up with this wall over here. Then the other pieces lined up. This one piece had a groove so the plastic can fit in, and this other piece had a groove so the plastic could fit in. And the, the plexiglass is there to protect the sound bar from right here, so this way it doesn't get damaged. And these pieces are just going to get it screwed in. Oh, come on. Oh, you're too big, aren't you? heads I'm just going to paint black. I might find other screws. So that's that wall done. Well, sorta. I still have to put this piece in place. Come on. What's going on? Oh, cable. So that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. But on this side, I have to trim this up a little bit. And then I have to put wood here. You didn't even see what I was pointing at. Oh yeah, you did. You can. Sort of. But next, we are going to work on that back wall. After I change the battery and do a little bit of work on that back wall. But we'll be doing some work way on that back bulkhead there. So sit tight and we'll be right back. Okay, so I must have spent about three, maybe four hours trying to figure out how to finish this off with my strips of lumber here. The one by fours that I did with the wall. And needless to say, it was not fun to do. But I finally figured it all out. Just this bottom piece, I might have to trim, because when I first did this, I worked from the bottom up, and that's how I got this piece. But in order to install this, I have to do this top piece first, and it was extremely tight and difficult to put in when I had these other pieces in place. So I'm actually going to have to work from the top down. And all these screws should line up perfectly because I did a lot of measuring and that's why I have a line right down the middle of all of these. That was just to make sure all the screws matched properly.
So the reason why this corner is like that and that corner is like that, if you can see the spacing, is in case I have to get to the wires, I'll still be able to get to them. And they're also hidden by the upper cabinet, so it's not that big of a deal. Feels like this is just hanging over just a little bit. Like I'm talking not even an eighth of an inch, just a very small amount. And the reason I screw these in instead of nailing it as well is in case I have to access something behind here, I'll still be able to access it. Just a few screws, 20, and I can get to it. I might have more to do today, I don't know, but just in case I'll call it a day. If not, I won't be calling it a day. Just in case I'll call it a day. If I find more, then this is not the end. So that's it for this episode. Until next time, have a good one.